Hi everyone, Lynn from Cavi Central. We have an adoption day today and lots of health checks going on. And I have Anne-Marie who has, um, she's from another rescue up north, who has had a surrender um, of how many? Came in? Three. 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 Yeah. And um, they've come down here for a bit of a look-see. So this little girl, she's looking very slumpish, very flat, just to, to even see her. She's got urine scald on her back, which is here. And you can see she's losing a bit of hair loss there. That's just urine scald is causing that. Um, she's been very... So she's had young before? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. One litter. She's slightly warm to touch. If I um, hear this solid colour, which is brown, you'll notice the interspersed white hairs. They're very clear yep. in this area. So yeah, definitely a Rowan. Hello. I'm with you in just a minute. No worries. So yeah, the way she's sitting, if we look at her splayed back legs, they're really um, awkwardly placed. How long ago did she have young, do you know? Um, it was a fella in there so, and he's about a year old, so it's been a good year. Okay, alright. Because sometimes if guinea pigs have had really enormous litters and they've, they've yep. held that position for a long time, it's a problem. Yeah, I've got that with one other yeah. girl in care at the moment. Yeah, I'd look at bumping her vitamin C really high yep. for her. Her coat is actually soft and really nice, but the fact that she's got a lot of urine scald here means she's sitting or hiding or tending to stay in one place. Um, she's actually lopsided in her yep, I just abdomen. Seen that. Yeah. actually more distended on her front front left abdomen side so she has it's not a lump I would actually keep an eye on that the symmetry and see if that settles down but it could be possible that she could have a cyst or something that's yep. that is attached to attached there or, yeah it doesn't feel like that but she's just, it's very unusual to see her a little bit symmetrically sitting. So it could, yeah, I would, for now, there's nothing that indicates she needs immediate help because her eyes are bright. Um, she's eating well, her coat's glossy. She's not showing signs of anything. This scalding down the back could potentially be on the fringe of a urinary tract infection if she's not watched yep. carefully. So make sure that everything's okay in in that way um, no, that no, she's not in pain or anything when she's urinating you were just and check the discoloration of it away. that it's normal yeah. and yeah. if it's if it's normal yeah, I would then watch yeah. well, hopefully she's been not. normal yeah. overnight so. okay. well, she got a name? Um, yeah. oh, this is a funny little no, she's got one little curl right there mm -hmm. so look at that front normally we'd call a guinea pig like this a smooth coated guinea pig but she's got one that's mini. One curl. Mini. That's really cute. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen a guinea pig with just one curl. He's almost got two. There's like another one just here. But yeah, the full one is right there. She's really sweet. So, mini. Well done. Yeah, keep an eye on her. Keep an eye on her food. Let's just check her feet over there. Yeah, the back feet are a bit red. As you said, they're a bit red and sore. They've gone sweet upon her. Let me have a look the other way. That's close enough. Oh, a little bit red, yeah. There's mm -hmm. there's no bumblefoot or anything there. Yeah, it's gotten a um, bit nicer since yesterday. But yeah, she's still some red. The thing I'm really more concerned about anything is this discoloration and urine scald down here because she's got lack of hair on no, either side. She's got, sitting in one place. She actually doesn't have any discharge that is crystalline or, or anything unusual here, but I would be keeping a close eye on her. Yeah, yeah and just checking that her the urine that she is passing is not painful and that is not coloured in any way. Yeah. And then make sure she's in clean bedding all the time and she's washed that back area and go from there. Yep. Okay. Yeah, she's going to mostly stay inside. Yeah. So, okay, here we go. Hi, so this is another little fellow from the rescue and he was called Chip. Was it yep. Chip? Yeah. And um, Chip had a lot of gunk in his ears, which we've removed. He is a really hormonal young little fellow <laughs> and. Um, yeah, apparently the others in the group did not make it. Chip was the only one that did. 
so it's good to hear but he's in rescue now so we will um emery will take good care of him too to find the right home in due course yeah. and he will be going in when his father goes in for new yeah, yeah. yeah so his, his coat's actually really good he had really gungy ears super super gungy ears and um he doesn't have as much in the way of loose dry skin at the back but his dad's got a much slightly thicker coat than the I know <laughs> you're not used to that are you and we're only touching the the outside of their ears but he's just not used to that at all he's never had them right I know is that better I bet you can hear now <laughs> thanks hey everyone and this is uh the dad in the rescue he's called forest what a cute name for all this wild hair i think it's the most gorgeous name we've actually never had a forest here before so that's, that's a cute name he's a very licky licky guinea pig like he loves to lick 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 he's beautiful um we've already checked forest over he had a big sperm rod that was removed um last night yep there. and he's got some minor fungal happening back here just on the back area so but because that's there and because they've come in to rescue, it's, we always recommend just mite treating them. So they're also going to be mite treated. His coat is actually really lovely and soft. And he's a really friendly boy. Isn't he pretty? <laughs> so he's forest. Okay, we'll pop him back. 